Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're going to hopefully finish the Swan Song campaign. It's time for our grand finale, the standoff in the system Mantaraka, where we're fighting against the Black Widow Company. There's no point of return. You pull the trigger on this drop and we'll, uh, in a we'll be in a confrontation with the Black Widow. We'd better be ready and better uh, we are very very ready so this is going to be an interesting five school flashpoint it's the fourth iteration of the moya burn flashpoint moya burn being the ai that found all of uh, the uh, found its way back into the inner spheres and had a lot of loss tech with it. Now we finally found the location of the base, where, of course, we're fighting against the enemies. It's time to go into the Badlands. Uh, there is a lot of salvage available, but no money. And in order to do this, how about we're giving Lily a chance as well? Got two multi shots, uh, that's fine. We got our Annihilator, Bull Shark, Atlas 2, and Atlas 1 combination. I think that they will do just perfectly fine in a full uh, five score mission. We, we are at this point where, of course, our lands can always be improved and we can find more lo uh, lost tech. But just generally speaking, the mechs that we have are absolutely fantastic. They are really, really good. Good, we're ready. It's time to go to Dobrev. Dobrev being the actual target and the Bowman group that we have been fighting against is deploying their very best fighters. The Black Widow. Morabjorn himself, or itself rather, has deployed a few drones that are supposed to help us. One of them needs to survive, everybody else is expendable, and all we need to do is destroy the enemies. On my way. Enemy detected. Location confirmed. Good. This is not going to be a long discussion. Mission is pretty straightforward. Thunderbolt. Our Atlas takes some damage, but we have evasion and 40% damage reduction. I am not concerned. All right. Of course, LRM barrages from left to right. LRM's being one of the strongest weapons in the entire game, and there is a whole kind of play style with one scout and three LRM boats. And that was pretty nasty hit for Hogbite. Okay, cool. Good, good. Receiving you. Time to move on. And time to deploy this wonderful bumper cannon. This is be now it's payback time, boom. guys. Look at the armor shred. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? Good. Atlas 2 moves up. A single hit to the head should not deter us. Oh, I see what's happening. Elite Gladiator in a bull shark. Well, that's one option. The other one is the Thunderbolt. But just looking at the LRMs here in the AC5s and AC10s, that guy. Very much needs to die. Let's go. Poor Shark has hit us well, but we 
have dealt critical damage to it. Skipper. Annihilator. Moving up, it's not the perfect move, but it's the only one that would hit, or has at least a chance to hit. Six points of damage, better than nothing. The other Atlas moves up, and we're straight up going to Alpha Strike. That bull shark goes down. 20 hit points on the torso. There is another uh, drop zone for a second lance. We're doing fine so far, just cannot take many hits to the head. The drones are generally speaking sturdy, but I wouldn't overdo it. They could hit that bull shark one more time. That'll be fantastic. Down to 2 HP, are you kidding me? No way, it's still getting up, okay. Not sure why exactly the bull shark got yet another action. Theoretically, the way that it works is I or our faction uh, would have gotten the next action. Waiting for orders. Yeah. On the move. Good. Multi target. That. And that. B, 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 B. And B. And let's go. Thunderbolt loses his stability. And the bull shark loses it all. Finally, with two hit points on the torso. Confirmed. That was about time. What can I do for you? All right, Bushak moves up. Not the best shot, but still a solid hit overall. Thunderbolt takes some more damage. I'm rolling. We're letting the UAC 10. Uh, yep, just pause for a second. Ha, you like that? Side torso is completely destroyed. And this here should be maybe even a kill. Not quite. But we dismantled the Thunderbolt. Alright, not Kabauman. Dropped four assault max. Drones are still standing strong. Moving to position. Good, let's give all of that here a pause. 
and we're just using LRMs to finally destroy the Thunderbolt, which means all of these guys have no line of sight. Oh wow, that was a hit into the back. Cyclops doesn't have the most armor. But here we go. That's a full lance. Ready to rock. And the only way to greet these guys once they arrive is another thumper. Alright, Atlas 2 moves in, Vigilance, and shall we say, yes we shall, let's core that Cyclops. Ah, uh, not quite. The guy took a lot of damage though. The drones are good for distractions, but they are not really good for anything else. Annihilator. Moves up. Let's see what you got. Two hits. That's 120 damage. And the core is open. I hear ya. Don't need to tell me. Bull shark move up, uh, moves up. We still got the thump ready. Once these guys come in range, saving some heat. Yeah, it was enough to kill the cyclops, anyways. So, three assaults are already down, one more over here, and I'm pretty sure the other guys are all assault mechs as well. Let's go on reserve. Let them act first. They sensor lock the drones, which is fine by me. This drone here might go down. Instead, they're sensor locking yet another drone. Okay, cool. Your order, Skipper? All right. Let's get a little bit closer, shall we? Thumper cannon. This is gonna be a big, beautiful kaboom! Fantastic. I love hitting four of these guys. <laughs> Could have waited for the fifth one. Yeah, but potentially wouldn't have been in range. Skipper. We got zero cover over here. Some high ground on the other side. I don't like what the drones are doing. They are essentially forcing us into a poor position and I hate that. All right, vigilance, and let's sprint up. Full throttle. Waiting for orders. Beat the cake. Atlas moves over, races. Show them what you got. Good, we're putting ourselves on reserve. I want them to move first. It's a little bit of a ring around the rosy type of situation where they are just standing their ground on the other side.
That was an archer. Heavy uh, weapon platform, not an assault Confirm. one, but a heavy one. No. And how about this? No. Still no. Moving up. Another Warhammer. Okay, interesting. Good. We'll take the 40% damage reduction. And this guy needs to take as much damage as we can. Luckily, the drones do have a few of, a few LRMs themselves. Skipper. Hmm. Really not optimal. I don't like this position at all. All of the damage that they've taken is from the thumpers so far, which is great. Uh -huh. We don't have any more thumper ammunition. Atlas positions themselves 40% damage reduction. Okay. Oh boy, a king crab. That's a hundred ton mech right there. All right, moving over to the archer. Want to make sure that we're like not creating too much of an opening. And that's half of the archer gone. That king crap is going to be an issue. They've got a lock on me. All right, structure exposed with the drone. That's another problem. All right, annihilator. Let's do this the right way, shall we? Annihilator moves up. And we're precision striking and trying to core this guy. Almost down to forty six hit points. Forty two. Another Cyclops, okay. Well, the drone is barely standing. Every single hit counts. Atlas moves up. Now let's just completely unload. Good. The King Crab by far was uh, the most dangerous mech that I've seen over here. Warhammer is less dangerous. The Cyclops is less dangerous as well. All right, Bushark moves up, stays in the cover of these rocks, and 
Let's just destroy the archer, shall we? Both sides are looking fine. They're down to three mechs. And we're doing good. A victor. Okay. Our bush arc took a hit. Pretty significant one. Took a heavy hit there. Yes, Commander. Small lasers. Okay, so I think that's the right call. On my way. Good. So we're putting on vigilance. Multi shot. Cyclops takes uh, the LRMs, and the rest just goes straight onto the victory here. Alright, the Annihilator takes some damage. I figured that that might happen. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. Confirm. Annihilator Confirm. moves up. Vigilance. And... Let's go for the Cyclops because we have much better odds to hit. We're waiting with the UAC-10 and giving it a recharge. That, that was it. Waiting for orders. The guy can't do much more. Nah, we're not melee attacking. Got it. Bush Arc has a lot of firepower and should use it. Nicely shreds the victor. Pilot injured, half of the victor is gone. I think this one here is good. We're in the crystal field that makes us more difficult to hit, uh, to hit. And at the same time, we're behind kind of this little rock. So you can see the little interruption where the Cyclops will have a hard time hitting us, which means we have like 80 ish percent chances to hit. Whilst the Cyclops is probably netting 30 to 40 percent. to take some more hits so it's okay Whoa! easy on the armor buddy something I can do all right we got small lasers and extended small lasers the right side is completely open might as well attack and save some energy 140 is potentially on the leg X down to 1 HP. Hilarious. I've got a sensor lock on me. Orders. Good. Annihilator okay. moves up. Vigilance and let's kill this Warhammer.
Guys are almost down. Victor on the other side has taken so much stability damage because we knocked him almost down, but he's now on the ground. Tygen took a hit. Okay, fair enough. Right, Commander. And time to annihilate this guy. Good, the victor is down, which means the right flank is now completely open and we can move in and get these guys down. Continuing to use Vigilance. A couple of medium lasers will be shut off. And let's get the Warhammer. Alright, fantastic. That just leaves the Cyclops as the last enemy. Moving up. Vigilance. Affirmative. And eventually he will go down. I mean, he has 1,300 armor. We'll wait uh, with Hawkbutt and enjoy his 40% damage reduction. Let him take the turn. And then we'll kill him. Oh. I can take another hit to the head. Commander? Honestly, I've never seen so many hits to the head uh, as in the last two missions unless they are continuously like aiming for the head i am baffled about the chances move order received gauging target cyclops He is now taking even more damage. Enemy mech. Critical damage. And there we go, he's going down. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Confirm. Order acknowledged. Annihilator moves up. Too much armor. Let's try to hit this guy. Critical hit. All right. Taurus was almost done, but uh, the Cyclops still stands up. At this point, it is more formality, where he's just trying to deal as much damage as possible, right? Yep, there we go. Another day to take some damage. Waiting for orders. Bush arc moves up. And directly fires him into the rear. Mission 
Well, that was a that was definitely a successful mission. Two almost uh, complete assault uh, mech lances that we were fighting on parallel. In all fairness, we got the drones, so they took some of the heat off of us, which was good. But yeah, once we were uh, once uh, the enemy were split onto both of the sides, it was relatively easy to just pick them off. No severe damage to the mechs. Unfortunately, a bit of damage to the mech warriors. King Crab, I love that mech. It's just so good. Got a Cyclops here. Got an Archer here, which is great. Victor. Yeah, certainly a few really good mech parts 39 million holy moly i think we still need to wait a bit because we've now uh, injured two of our mech warriors and it'll be a few more days until Hawk and um, Bradford is back. And I think that that was not the last mission. If I'm not mistaken, there was still another one. Good. So Bowman essentially tells us uh, he wants to give us a lot of seabills and we're saying, nah, that's not going to happen. And we're instead taking the Dobrev. Black Widow's dropship. There she is. She pretty much want, uh, wants the Dobrev as well, but that cannot happen. I wish it, there would be the option to put injured uh, mech warriors still into the fight. But yeah, realistically speaking, we gotta wait a few days, yeah. Good to go. That is unfortunate. Training confirmed, Commander. Yeah. What can I do? Commander? Uh yo. Standing by. Okay. So we're going to uh we're going to uh, wait the two more days. So that Bradford is back, and theoretically in 13 days, Hogbite would be back as well. But uh, the next time, we're going to return with a Black Widow and her company. This is potentially the last mission of the entire run. If I'm not mistaken, it was the last one of the standoff. So let's give it all we got. I'm looking forward for it. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. Take care, have a good one. And if you like Battletech, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.